Hello, I'm Meng Yao Zhao. Uh, I'm a first year PhD student in informatics. Hi, I'm Nathan Major. Uh, I'm a first year master's student in informatics. Hi, my name is Kate Ringland. I am a PhD student in informatics. Hey, my name is Kalina Toki. I'm a third year majoring in psychology, biology, and minoring in civic and community engagement. Hi, I'm Oliver, and I had the amazing opportunity to be part of the dance craft team for the 2014 Autism App Jam. I have had past experience working um, with the Connect for kids with autism, and I also have a love of dance. So this um, this seemed to come together really well. We created a unique uh, game called Dance Craft that combines dance therapy as well as a popular game known as Minecraft. Um, individuals can participate in this game in a fun manner, and at the same time, uh, uh, gain points in order to reinforce and continue their uh, physical activity in the game. In my previous research, Minecraft has come up a lot in interviews from, um, from various kids with autism, uh, particularly when I was doing my last Connect study. They all wanted to know why the game I had made was not Minecraft, and so I had to explain that to them. Dance for kids with autism is great because it, gives, it helps them become more aware of their own body movements and it helps them express themselves creatively. Crea creatively. Helps express themselves creatively. Edit that as you will. So I think it's a great form of communication, um, especially in a population where a lot of people think that these kids don't know how to communicate. Um, this is one way that they can communicate. I went and spoke to Andrew Palermo down um, in the dance department and he does dance therapy, dance classes for kids with autism, and so uh, we talked about how his classes work and how we might incorporate some of his uh, skills into our application. We designed the interface kind of like Minecraft uh, because we want the kids to have an understanding about how this game correlate to Minecraft, so when they play, they know the credits they earn can be used in transactions in Minecraft. My job within this team was to work on the development of the user interface. So Meng Yao created some amazing design prototypes, and then I was able to uh, transfer those ideas into code um, and create an interface that children could use to navigate through and then eventually interact with the Connect um, in order to dance and see themselves on the screen. Yeah, working with the Connect has had its ups and downs. Um, it's great that there are tools out there that allow us to kind of integrate a lot of things without having to do too much coding, but there are always the like awkward moments where we're like, for instance, trying to integrate the music and so then when you go to play the music the entire thing just sits there and doesn't actually let the connect do anything. Um, so fun fun little things like that. Um, and and all the, the vector algebra I got to relearn <laughs> so that we could calculate the points. That was fun. My role in this particular project was um, help uh, spread the word about this project. So I established two pages, a Google Plus page as well as a Pinterest that helped um, broadcast to the public about our work and the design and the research process. So what I mostly did throughout the uh, project was kind of get the word out through social media. My focus was through Facebook and Twitter. Um, I spent most of the time taking pictures of Oliver and he was eating food and then having him delete the pictures off the social networks. Um, but aside from that, we did get some good photos, trying to get the word out, find more research articles, more information about how dancing and physical movement can help kids with autism.
I am super excited about this application. Um, I am, in fact, really looking forward to hopefully deploying it after this and in really getting some user feedback from the kids. This app is really great. I think it's going to make a really big difference and we're hoping to actually deploy it sometime soon once we get everything worked out. I'm really excited for the future of this app. Um, I think it's really cool how it integrates modern camera technology through the Kinect as well as uh, a popular video game like Minecraft as someone who plays an unhealthy amount of Minecraft already myself. This experience has been really eye-opening. I've had the chance to learn so much about myself, about my teammates, as well about the disorder autism itself. We want to help the families with autism kids to save their money on dance therapy classes. And also we want to encourage parents to spend more time with their kids. So in this way to help the kids with autism, and that is our biggest hope. We're so excited to have the opportunity to be part of this app jam and, and create something that's really going to help families who have children with autism. Yes, yes, yes.